Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I'm going to give you a project update on where we stand with my 2004 VW R32. You see, Wookiees in the Woods uh, is in, uh, I think, 56 days. So lots to do, lots to crunch down on, so let's jump into what's left to do. I have the list right behind the camera, so forgive me if I'm not looking at the camera. But first off, we need to change the windshield uh, weather cowl or rain catcher. It's sitting on the top of my car here. That's actually broken, so I've got a new one of those coming. Then I need to install new wipers in the front and the back as well as the spray nozzles for where the wiper fluid comes out in the front. For some reason, someone removed that. I'm sure it's because they had the, the hood off at some point and you have to remove those, but who knows. Next up is when I did my ice racing, I checked my lights because I wanted to drive the car on the road and I realized the tail lights don't work. So I need to figure out what's going there. I checked the fuses, I checked the brake pedal switch so it's just the brake lights that don't work. So I've got to figure out the brake lights there. And then also the left front headlight, the bright isn't working. Hopefully that's just a bulb that's out and not a wire. So you definitely need lights when you're driving, especially at Wookiees in the Woods, a 800 mile drive down there. So I definitely need some brake lights and I need some bright lights. Next up on the list is uh, touching up on some projects that I started and that I broke or didn't complete. So next up on the list is the left front rotor. When I first started the car getting it ready to go ice racing, I didn't have the wheels on. Uh, it was just the rotors and the car was on the lift. And if you know how these rotors hold on, they hold on with the rotor into the wheel hub and then just a set screw to hold the rotor in place. The brakes were a bit tight or locked in there and I tried to put it in gear and, and uh, see if everything was moving there and basically just that little set screw was trying to move uh, the rotor which was pinched by the brake and it snapped that screw off in there. It's not a major problem, you don't need that screw, but when you're changing the wheels as frequently as I will for racing or not, you need that screw otherwise the road always moves and it's a pain in the butt to actually put the wheels on. So I need to pull out that, that snapped off screw in there. Hopefully that's not gonna screw up the hub, but that's next on the list. On top of that, uh, I need to replace the interior cabin uh, filter. When I removed this uh, rain track or cowl, whatever they call it, I found the cabin filter in there. I actually ordered one because apparently no one ever changes these. So I didn't know where it goes, but I found it. So while that's out, I'm gonna replace a, a new cabin uh, air filter. Then it's onto the transmission. I need to do the transmission service, the Heldex uh, service, those haven't been done. I have some aftermarket fog lights that I want to install on the bumper. Not urgent if I don't get those done, but that's also on the list. The front wheel linings I installed uh, before ice racing, which was a big mistake because that's $90 down the drain because the spikes ripped those out. So I need to order some more of those and install those. Next up, after all the engine servicing is done, I have a big uh, skid plate under the engine that I want to put back on, especially for ice racing or just racing in general. In case I go up on a bank, I don't want to knock anything at the bottom of the engine off. So it's a pretty heavy duty steel uh, skid plate under there. Then on to some cosmetic stuff. Uh, the rear logo on the tail uh, gate is actually fallen off. It looks like someone put an off them. They, they painted it all black and then they actually removed the sticky tape or the double-sided tape and put some other crappy double-sided tape on there. So I need to clean off that area. I have a new uh, VW logo. I need to put that on. There's also a little bit of rust on the, the tailgate, right, where the handle is. So I kind of want to grind that down, get the rust gone, and then fill it in with some Bondo, smooth it out, and then I've got a rattle can of this Reflex Silver. Hopefully I can blend it in there. Then a bigger rust problem are the front two quarter panels. Uh, I have some metal mesh and some Bondo. I wanna grind, around, uh, grind away and see if I can uh, fix it up there. Or if you guys have a lead to new Reflex Silver or use Reflex Silver front and left uh, quarter panels, I will definitely buy those because this project 
will be a big learning project. I have no problem doing the project. I just don't want that to take a week or two trying to figure out all the ins and outs of that. Now jumping on to the next thing. Before I went ice racing, this left rear brake line had some leaks on it and so did the right. The left one I actually cut and replaced the broken section. The right one I didn't uh, and I just temporary, temporarily fixed it with some like metal putty. It seems to work but I want to actually take that section off and fix that brake line. And then obviously once I fix the brake line I gotta bleed the brakes to make sure those work. Next up on the list there's a little window chip on the windshield and I brought the glass fixing chip so never done it before it's like some epoxy stuff you squirt it in there and hopefully it uh, stops the the crack from spreading so I need to get that done and then I'm really want to do a deep buff and polish on this car uh, see what scratches I can remove and and see how nice I can get it going and that's basically all for the exterior that I can think of right now. Well, those are the main things that are on my list to get done before Wookiees in the Woods. The interior, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the interior, but it's really just putting everything back in. I'm not really upgrading anything. I have reupholstered the front seats, so you'll see those soon, or the seats in general. Uh, the major thing is I'm waiting on a, a half roll cage for the back so I don't want to work on the interior and then remove it to put the roll cage in so I don't want to start on the interior until that comes in and then having an actual stereo put in while everything's ripped out it's easier to run the wires and, and whatnot while everything's ripped out um, but I'm gonna focus on the exterior because I do think the interior will be much quicker to put back together since I'm not doing bushings in the interior, I'm not doing brakes, I'm not replacing things. It's not really anything performance enhancing or changing. It's literally just putting it back together. So that's really all the projects uh, that are urgent on my to-do list right now. And I'll be trying to put out at least two videos, maybe three videos a week about all those different projects. And then soon on the channel, I'm going to have a channel update where we stand uh, as a channel and where we're going in the future. So be sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss that update. Thanks again for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you then.